so we're gonna get right into it I'm using the Too Faced shadow insurance like always and then I'm taking my scone blending brush using the shade toffee from Lorac mega pro 3 palette it's okay if you don't have the shade I just use it as a transitional shade and a similar one to this would be the Anastasia um, I believe it's called orange cream So I'm just blending that above my crease up towards my brow bone and then I'm going into the Master Palette by Mario using the shade Lula. I love saying that one, Lula. And I'm just blending this um, into my crease and outer corner using the same scone blending brush. At first I wasn't sure if I liked this brush and then I decided that I totally love it. Just takes a long time to get used to so if you don't have this one I highly recommend it because it is really easy for blending. Then I'm taking the shade Vintage from the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This is a gray toned beigey color and I'm blending it on the outer corner and closer to my crease using a smaller tapered blending brush. This is an IT Cosmetics one. Then I'm using the shade Hickory, which is a dark, taupey brown color, and I am blending it on the outer corner and into my crease, but I'm focusing it mainly on the outside of my eye, and I'm making sure to leave a lot of space from my inner corner and lid. And then I'm taking the NYX Pots and Pans Jumbo Eye Pencil, and I'm taking a small definer brush and mapping out the shape of my lid and I'm making sort of a half cut crease here so I'm taking it from the inner corner and into the center of my lid and not really going too much further over we don't want to like totally cover up that darkness but I'm going to be blending it out and then I'm using my finger to pat it out to kind of have it more blended so there's not super harsh line there and then I'm taking the silver liquid crystal liner from NYX and I find it easier to map out the shape first, so I'm going in and I'm lining my lash line and then I'm lining the top of the crease. And then I just sort of pull it from the inner corner to the center of the lid to help blend because again, we don't want a super harsh line where the silver stops and the brown taupey colors begin. You could also use the Stila, um, I can't remember what they're called, those, those like glittery shadows, liquid stick things, <laughs> magnificent metals I think is what they're called. You could use those too, I don't have one, I have them ordered so I'm waiting for them and I just couldn't wait and I wanted to do a look sort of like this. So I'm taking that same hickory shade, that darkest brown, and I'm blending it into that silver and sort of darkening my outer corner a little bit more. And then I'm going into my all-time favorite Tardis Double Take Liner from Tarte. And I'm just sort of darkening and lining my lash line. I'm not doing anything crazy with a, the liner. And I'm not doing a wing or anything with this. I kind of wanted this shape to be more about the shadow, less about the wing and the liner. Once the other side's done, I'm just curling my lashes and then I'm applying my Clarins Supra Volume Mascara. I've been really, really liking this mascara. It's supposed to help build the natural volume of your lashes with every use. There's, it's like medicated in there, so it's supposed to help um, grow your lashes a little bit and make them a little bit thicker and more voluminous. And then I'm going to be adding the Eyler number 202 Dramatic Lashes. And then I'm going to be lining my lower lash line with the same dark hickory brown color with a small blending brush. And I'm just taking it from the outer corner to about the center of my eye and then I'm throwing on some mascara on the bottom. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.